In our first Windows 10 class, one of our students asked how to set up a second user for Windows. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you're sharing your computer between you and your husband or you and one of your children, you might want to have a separate account set up for them. That way, they can change the desktop to whatever they want. They can put their own shortcuts on their um, desktop and you have your area of the computer where your stuff is stored and they have their area of the computer where their stuff is stored and it just makes those things easier so people aren't messing with your stuff so the way to do that is pretty simple you go to the start menu go to settings and what we're going to click on this time is accounts now a lot of this depends on how you have your account set up in the first place. If you have your account set up using a Windows account, like a Hotmail account or a Windows login account, some of these settings may be a little different for you. But you can always set up a second user as just a local user on that computer. So let's look at how to do that. So we're going to go to Family and Other User. And we're going to say we want to add someone else to this PC. And I'm not going to have them sign in with the email address or phone number. I'm going to choose right here where it says I don't have this person's sign in information. And then I'm going to skip all of this because I don't want to create a Microsoft account for this person. I'm going to just add a user without a Microsoft account. Now all you have to do is I'm going to give this uh, account a name and I'm going to call it, I'm going to create an account for me on this computer. So I'm going to put Dr. B. Um, I'm going to uh, add my password. And I'm going to add a password hint. And then I'm going to click Next. And notice here now I have a local account set up for Dr. B. So when I go to log on next time, I will see not only the account that this computer is logged on as, but I will also see the local account. Right now it's logged on as BusyBee Admin. And then after I restart the computer, I will also have under BusyBee Admin here, as you can see, I have now Dr. B. If I click on Dr. B here, it will log in as Dr. B. And I will have my own settings on the computer, my own set of documents, pictures, everything. So that's all you have to do to set up another user in Windows 10. Thank you for listening and watching this episode of Q&A with Dr. B. See you next time.